Another sneak snippet of Piers Morgan's interview with Hannah Ingram Moore, so Captain Tom's daughter, has been released. And I feel that I would like to react and respond to this and give you some of my views. And I'm going to say something that I don't often say, and that is to caveat that this is entirely my opinion for legal reasons, based on the information that I had before all of this hit the media, the bits that I've read about, not that I know everything about it, I don't, but I know enough to comment, and my thoughts genuinely in response to what's hit the media uh, today, and we expect to come out in this interview. That being the money uh, raised and whether or not charity money went to the family. Now, all of which these are questions that Piers Morgan put to the family. Um, so let's have a listen to this snippet. There's, uh, I'm not going to play all of it, just bits that I think are relevant. Let's have a listen to this. Here's what I need to establish, because this has been the issue which people have been, uh, I think, rightly concerned about, which is all this money, this £809,000 in the first year that Club Nook Limited raised in revenue, where did that come from? Because the belief is it came from Captain Tom themed merchandise. Is that the case? No, that, that the money hasn't come from merchandise. The bulk of that money, the vast majority of that money came from the three books. So just pausing there, my view on all of this is that those books, because of the time that they were written and because of his publicity at the time, I think most people would objectively say that those books were a form of merchandise in that they were sold with the popularity of Captain Sir Tom Moore and his charitable fundraising. And there is evidence of this in the media. I didn't have to look very far to find another video of the captain himself uh, speaking at an event with, I believe this to be his number one book. And let's listen to what he had to say here and see what the impression is that you're left with. Uh, because I never, ever anticipated something like this. I mean, we started off in a very low level and look how, how we got, we got better and better and better. And I said, I'll go on walking whilst people are still subscribing. And so at that point there, this event is obviously raising awareness uh, publishing this book, Tomorrow Will Be A Good Day, which was the runaway number one bestseller that was referred to. Um, but it's described entirely within the context of the walk, the charity walk, and raising money for the charity. Now, ostensibly, anybody watching this interview, watching publication of this event, and considering buying the book, in my view, in my opinion, would very reasonably believe that the proceeds for this book would go into the charity and not to the family. In fact, I would go as far as to say I think people would be upset to discover that the money actually went to the family's business and not to the charity. Because how many people, this is the real question, how many people bought this book, as I said in my video earlier, believed that this money was going to the charity. But let's move back to the Piers interview. People will say, well, the books are based on his fame, which came from the charity walks. Why has that money not gone to charity? These um, were my father's books, and, and it was honestly such a joy for him to write them. But they were his books. They, um, the deal was done, he had an agent, and the agent, um, and he worked on that deal. They were Captain Tom's books, and his wishes, whether that money, was that that money would sit in Club Nook. So this makes absolutely clear that they say that there is no legal link whatever between the books, the sale of the books, and the charity. So in that sense, in a legal sense, if, if there is nothing else to it, then rightly that money would go to the family's business, and she says that it was his wish that that were to happen. But that still leaves the question with this other video here of this event and events like it, clearly making out that the funds are being raised 
in the name of what he was doing for this charity. And we don't have to go very far to find websites talking about the publication of these books as to support the foundation, um, such as this one here, which says it's been confirmed that Moore will publish two books this year, the proceeds of which will go towards his new foundation, the Captain Tom Foundation, which will support hospices, etc. In addition to the standard that says Captain Tom Moore to release autobiography and children's books, all of, all of which these written in uh, May 2020. Uh, they also quote the captain uh, by saying, I am so looking forward to sharing my autobiography with you, which will help the launch of my new foundation. I'd better get writing, he is quoted to say. His daughter, Hannah Ingram Moore, talks about uh, being a child and uh, reading books. This whole thing was quite obviously to promote the launch of the foundation together with the writing of these books. So let's go back to the interview and see what else was said about that. And so with that, I take issue because if the outward word to the media was these books were to raise money for the foundation and yet on paper, contractually and legally, all of the money was going to the family, that is, with respect, a bit disingenuous, if not a misrepresentation. Now, I don't think for a moment that it was a misrepresentation on behalf of the captain, but if that's not the case, then was question, was he misled as to the factual matrix as to where this money was going? Did he, in fact, believe that it was going to the charity, as the quote in the standard suggests, where he was quoted to say, I am so looking forward to sharing my autobiography with you, which will help launch my new foundation. I'd better get writing. He was quoted by the uh, Evening Standard to say on uh, the 14th of May 2020. So this, to me, in my opinion, there is a disconnect and this doesn't add up. Whilst legally on the contract there may not have been anything, but that in fact might make things worse. If there is a full investigation into all of this, if there hasn't been already, this might well prove that there's been some form of misrepresentation to the public at large as to where these sums were going. Now, just a reminder, this is my opinion based on the disconnect between what's quoted and what is now being said is on paper, on the contractual documents. But let's um, hear a bit more. They were, they were never anything to do with the charity. So her statement there, they were never anything to do with the charity. Um, but again, respectfully, I wholeheartedly disagree. And I think most people watching will disagree because when you look at the publications, they quite clearly connect the publication of these books to the foundation. Um, again, in the standard, the, the subheading in the standard is both books will support the launch of his new charity. Now, they didn't make this up. They took it from the conversations they would have had and in, in part, they directly quoted what was said. And so I don't buy that. But I would urge you to watch the full interview yourself when it is aired to form your own opinion. So if you do disagree with my opinion based on this analysis, you are free to do that. Uh, I'm not uh, holding you to my opinion. I'm expressing my opinion based on what has been said now and based on what was reported in 2020. And for me, the two do not marry together. Let's watch a bit more. Never. What will you say to people who'll say you shouldn't have kept that money? They were my father's books. Um, he wrote them hmm. and he decided what to do with the income from them. But again, the vast majority of the headlines connect the autobiography, which was the big seller, and the foundation. Again, with the standard, uh, to say that the autobiography is to support the foundation, um, the Shropshire Star, um, Captain Tom to publish two books in support of new charity. Uh, the list goes on. This was all over the media, even on the Waterstones website itself. It describes in this his official autobiography announced in support of the creation of the Captain Tom Foundation. He tells us of his long and dramatic life. And finally, on the Penguin website itself, 
It says both books will be published by Penguin Random House in support of the creation of the Captain Tom Foundation. And so for me, there is a complete disconnect from all of these statements that the books were in support of the foundation and the family's statements in that all of the funds raised from the sale of these books was nothing to do with the foundation. That to me doesn't seem quite right. But obviously, don't take my word for it. Watch the full interview for yourself and you are free to look at any of the links that I've mentioned here. Make up your own mind. You don't need to rely on mine. But do let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like these little overviews and my personal thoughts. As I say, when it's necessary, I tell you that it's my personal opinion based on all of the information that's been reported here and that which has been said by the family themselves. So I hope you found that useful. I'll see you next time.